It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, snap. Crackle and pop in your Christian music. Amen, amen, and amen. And we are so glad to do it. Good morning, everyone. We hope you have your ears on. Do you have your ears on? Are you ready to hear another episode from us here at Cutting from the Word? Are you ready? Are you ready on this beautiful, wonderful day that the Lord has blessed us with? This is already December 13th, 2021. This month would be out of here pretty soon if the Lord blessed us to see it. Praise the Lord, December 13th. Can you believe it, my friends? Pretty soon, it's going to be December 25th, the day the world, don't get Brother Oscar wrong now, the world, <laughs> consider the birth of Jesus Christ. But you know what? Jesus did not want to be honored for his birth, but he say celebrate his death. Amen and amen. And then, 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 then you look at life this here, my friends. Truth be told, Christ was not born on December 25th. Oh, Brother Oscar, he loved the joyous occasions that this season bring and, and all those festive things that's going on. But you know what? Truth be told, Christ was not born on December 25th. 25th. Amen. But Oscar had to just put that little nibbit in there. That's all right with you this morning? Is that all right with you? Oh, my friends, we hope that you have your ears on this morning and ready, ready, ready to hear another episode from us here at Cutting from the World. Amen and amen. We are coming on a little bit early this morning, coming on 30 minutes early because give me time. I have to, uh, I have a doctor's appointment today, so we're giving us a little bit more time so that uh, we can make it to our uh, doctor's appointment. I do apologize for that, but when you get a certain age, it's good to, to keep your doctor's appointments and take care of this temple that the Lord dwells in. Amen and amen. Again, we're so thankful that you're joining us and that you have your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on through the whole program. My friends, this is another day, another day that the Lord has blessed us with. This is another day that the Lord has allowed us to see. We, you and I, that's on the top psalm and psalm on top of us, and we that are on this side of heaven. The Lord has blessed us with another wonderful, wonderful day. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Amen. And a amen. And it was the psalmist who said in Psalm 118, 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friends, but I am going to rejoice, and I am going to praise the Lord, and I am going to thank Him for giving me another wonderful, wonderful day, another chance to make it right with Him, another chance to walk closer and closer with him. And we hope that you are, are you are doing the same. Because each day that the Lord gives us, that's a day that we can get ourselves together and give it all 
to him and for his glory. Amen and amen. First of all, we want to welcome all of our new listeners to the program. If this be your first time listening in, you are our, uh, I guess, new listener. And we want to welcome you to the program. But not only do we want to welcome you to the program, but we uh, honor you this morning. And we thank you for listening in. And we applaud you this morning. Yes, we do. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for listening to Chatting from the Word with your brother here. Thank you, thank you for spending your morning with Brother Oscar this morning, knowing you could be somewhere else or listening to somebody else, but you decide to listen to Brother Oscar this morning, and we do appreciate that very, very much. Now, if you love what you're listening to, share it. Tell tell others about this program that we are putting on Chatting from the Word Mondays through Fridays at 9 o'clock. And I, like I said this morning, we come on 30 minutes early because we have prior commitments to take care of. But normally we come on at 9 o'clock. So my friends, if this be your first time listening in, tell all this about us here at Chatting from the Word. Share us on Facebook, link and Instagram, or uh, wherever you are on the internet. Share, share, share. Spread the gospel of Jesus Christ worldwide. Shout it from the mountaintop. Shout it from the mo- <laughs> mountaintop. Shout it from the rooftop. Tell others about us here at Chatting from the Word. <laughs> we apologize for that, Brother Oscar. You know, he, I, I'm just so thankful that the Lord has Bless me to see another wonderful day and giving this old guy here a second, third, fourth, and fifth chances. What about you? What about you? Amen, amen. My friend, do you love what we're doing here on Chatting from the Word? Have you been inspired, uplifted? Have we put that snap, crackle, that pop in your Christian walk today? And if we have done that, if we have done that, could you help us out on a financial uh, situation, uh, on a financial way? And if you can, we will appreciate that very, very much. Everything costs money today. Everything costs money. And this program to bring it on to you as we do, do cost money. And to reach the many uh, masses of people that we desire to reach or is reaching, it takes money to do that. So if you want to help us out, and if your concern is the world to heal the gospel of Jesus Christ, help us out today with a donation. Don't do not have to. It does not have to be big. Do not have to be. Uh, it could be small or it could be big. I believe that's what Brother Oscar is trying to say. Whatever size amount of your donation would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, we do have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is a little case, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, and you can go to Zelle and do the same. Go to Zelle, put in my email address again, which is a little case, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, and we hope that you can do it today. Do it today. Help us out. Here on Chatting from the Word, and if you want to sponsor us, it would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. And you can sponsor us at any amount you desire to put in on a monthly basis, and it would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Amen. And a amen. Where am I? Oh, where am I? Where am I? I am here on Chatting from the Word, and I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian voice. Yes, 
Amen, amen, and amen, and thank you, thank you, and thank you, amen, amen. Now, many of you know where we're broadcasting from, correct? Many of you do recognize where we're broadcasting from. We say it every day on the air that we are broadcasting from that beautiful, wonderful state of Ohio. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. That wonderful state of Ohio is where we are bringing this fine program from. And I know Ohio, once you have your ears on, and Brother Oscar do appreciate you having your ears on. And of course, Michigan, Michigan and North Carolina. And it's somebody I'm missing here. I, 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 it's somebody I'm missing, but we get it together. We thank you as well, and we applaud you for being in the house with us this morning. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. I had to look at something here. <laughs> I remember Oscar was doing, he was uh, looking at something because I keep on hearing some strange feedback in my ears here, and I'm trying to see where that's coming from. I think we might have the problem corrected, and we hope that we do. Amen and amen. Now, my friend, it is that time. What time is it, Brother Oscar? What time is it? It is time for us to do our snapshot. Yes, it is. Amen, amen. Here's the snapshot for the program today. Of course, you heard an introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And then pretty soon it would be our prayer time. Of course, we're going to be playing Radiance or Capella, Sweet Hour of Prayer. And the scripture text that we are going to use, I believe we are going to use Psalm 139th Division. Psalms 139th Division. And my plan was, was to read the whole division. So my friends, if you want to join us in the, our prayer reading, you're welcome to do that. If you have a copy of God's Word, you're welcome to read along with your brother here during our prayer time. And the song that we are, have selected to play for you, your listening ears today is Revelation, and they sing The Waymaker. And my friends, the Lord is definitely a waymaker. The only thing we need to do is to trust in him and love him. Amen. Trust in him and love him, my friend. Trust in him and love him because he is definitely the way maker. And of course, the message, the message. Of course, we, the main topic what we're working with is the church, the called out. Because our lesson is taken from the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians. And this is who he's talking to. He is talking to the church. So a lot of us, when we read the Bible, we think, we think it's all about us. But here, Paul is talking to the church, all the members of the church at Corinth. And when we read the Bible, too, and read the, the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the first, uh, the first and second Corinthians to the Corinthian church. 
we too, he is talking to as the church. So we must bear that in mind, the message that Paul, so Paul is trying to convey here. And we hope that during the, 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 the chat that we have helped you in our studies, in our chat, to understand the message of hope, the message of salvation, and the message of love. Amen and amen. So my friends, just hold on and keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. And my friend, that was your snapshot of the show, of the show today. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So my friends, just hold on to your hat. Hold on to your hair. Hold on to your chair. As our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ take us for this beautiful, beautiful ride. Get on board. Get on board. All is on board. Oh.
Amen and amen. Uh, that was Radiance Acapella. And they song, Sweet Hour of Prayer. And of course, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you desire, we'll ask to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to my email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or lowercase chatting from the word at gmail.com or you can put your prayer requests on any page that you're listening to the program through and we will receive your prayer request and as always if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential that is fine with us here at Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name. And we'd be so delighted and so blessed to do just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us. And of course, do not forget those that we've been praying for all this time, those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times at this time, and those that are trying to make a difference when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, keep your brother Oscar here in your prayers as well. Pray for me as I pray for you. If you have a copy of God's Word, our reading going to be lengthy this morning, and I hope you, you, you'd be all right with that. We are coming from the 139th Division of Psalms. 139th Division of Psalms. And the chief musician penned these words. He said, Oh, Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my downsitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my fault afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest all together, it all together. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high, and I cannot contain, attain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? If I send up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the mornings and dwell in the utmost parts of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I would praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee. When I was made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance 
yet bring, yet being unperfect, uh, in the book of all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay me, wicked. Slay, surely thou shalt with thy slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thy enemies take thy name in vain. Do not hate them, O Lord. They hate thee, and I am not. I grieve with those that rise up against thee. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts, and see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen and amen. I, I love that last part. Baby says, search me. Search me. Oh God, know my fault. Try me. Search me, oh God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. Oh, my friends, the Lord, he searches us. He tries us. So that we can, he can see what we're made of. So we can live closer and closer to him, my friend. If you're going through something, think about that. If you're going through some hard times, don't give up. That's the Lord searching you, trying you, making you that man or that woman he desires for you to be. Will you approach the throne of grace with me, please? Father, which art in heaven. Oh, Father, we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. Father, thank you for the privilege that to call you our Father. Thank you for the privilege to call upon you. Thank you for the privilege, Father, that we have that you're listening to us. We are in the Son's body, your Son's body. Oh, Father, we come thank you for watching over us on this morning, on this uh, last evening as we slept in slumber and woke us up till morning that none of us had never seen before. We, though, on this side of heaven. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for another one for day, giving us a, a second, third, fourth, and fifth chances to make it right with you and to live closer and closer with you. Oh, Father, we thank you so much for that. Oh, Father, we come praying for... Thank you again for allowing your only begotten Son, our loving, loving Savior Jesus Christ, to come down in this cruel, cruel world to show us how to live, love, and be connected back to you. And taken on the cross in our place, becoming sin who knew no sin, but he became sin so that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Oh, Father, we come praying for the world at this time. Father, we recognize that the world stands a far distance from you. But, Father, what we request is that you allow us as Christians to shine our light, hoping some boys, some girls, some men, and some women, they see that, that condition, come crying, what must I do to be saved? Oh, Father, 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 we come praying at this time for those that have contracted this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you heal their bodies to the deed thy will. Touch their bodies so they may get well and rise from their bed of sickness and give you praise, glory, and honor. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray that you be with them through their mourning period. Father, 
Lord, we pray that you comfort them as you may know how to comfort them best. Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones at the hands of the police. Father, we recognize that they're mourning as well. Father, we pray that you comfort them too. Oh, Father, we pray for the police officers who felt as though they needed to take a life. The only thing we do is pray for, we are praying that it was justified. Father, if justified, we pray for each police officers who had to take a life. Oh, Father, we come praying for our political leaders, though divided. For, but Father, we pray that they never make laws forbidding us of worshiping you, but make laws where we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying again for the church, the body of Christ, Father, to help us to continue on shining the, our light being the beacon of light for others to see you and Christ in us. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time, those who are listening to me at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them. Help them through their struggles. Help them through their hard times. Help them to make to maintain Christ in their lives. Father, help them through their sickness and whatever they are going through. Father, cast that mountain of problems in the deepest part of the sea where it won't rise anymore. Oh, Father, we come praying for our program today. Father, we come praying for chatting from the Word. Help us, Father, to always stand, make a uh, set the example and, and make the standard of the way you want us to be. Make a standard of what a program should be, praising you and teaching your word. Father, Father, we pray for the message that we have been teaching on quite some time. The church that called out, Father, help us that we may express it in a way to help someone to get to know you, to help someone to walk closer with you, to help someone to stay in you. And Father, we come praying for those we've been praying for all this time. Those who lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times in their lives, and those that are trying to make a difference when it comes to the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, Father, we pray that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. And uh, Amen. We want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, thanking you for praying along with us, and we hope that we praise for something that is on your mind. All right, all right, let's move on. We'll be right back after, with the second half, after these messages. You got to, Bill Oscar just must apologize. It's just so early in the morning for him. I didn't get my, my, my thoughts together here, but I'm all right. Bill Oscar would be all right. We hope that you still have your ears on, my friends. Do you still have your ears on? Are you ready for the second half of the program? We hope that you are ready to hear the second half. Now, you know how we begin our second half. All we begin by asking for a donation. If you can help us out in here at Chatting from the Word in a financial way, we will appreciate that very, very much. We do have a account on PayPal. Just pull up the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York. 3443 at gmail.com and any amount you put in will be satisfactory and if you want to sponsor us you are welcome to do that as well do you love us my friend do you like us do you really like us at this time we're coming live on Spreaker and if you like us on Spreaker let us know how much you like us but if you truly love us be our next follower on the Spreaker platform. And we also are live at this time on YouTube. And if you listen to us through our YouTube station, give us a thumbs up. Let us know how we are doing. But if you love us, subscribe to us. Be our next subscriber on our YouTube station and hit the bell so they may notify you every time when we are broadcasting. And we also are tweeting, tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. If you listen to us 
through to us on Twitter. We thank you very much for that. And we also are tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr. If you listen to us on Tumblr, we love that as well. Now, our Facebook page is not up running as it should be, but we try to get it to you, the program to you, the best way we can on Facebook. But do not let that be your excuse for not listening to us here at Chatting from the Word, because we are coming on many of your internet networks. We're on Audrey, Music Download, GFC, Lay, Joseph Ann, Chrome Web, you Bullhorn, Alexa, Media Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchase, Adisa, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic Android App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Castbox Podcasts, Addicts, Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, Click it in, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire direct link, Reach it to your Google Play or App Store and download the Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up, Chatting from the Word. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when we are on or when we are broadcasting a program, you will not miss not one episode that we are bringing. Amen. And amen. Again, we are so thankful that you still have your ears on and that you are still listening to us here at Friends from the World. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. We are really so delighted that you are spending your morning with us. Where am I? Where am I, y'all? Where am I? I guess I am on chatting from the word, and this is your host, Brother Oscar, your blue voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the word and from the word, and putting the all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we are so delighted to do just that. We are so delighted to do that. But Oscar looks at it at a, as a blessing. I'm blessed to bring this program to you Monday to Friday. So we hope that we have been a blessing to you as well. Amen. Amen. And it's that time, my friends. What time is it, Brother Oscar? For us to play our only selection for the program today. And our selection for the program today will be that a cappella group called Revelation. And they sing the way maker because our Lord is definitely a way maker. Yes, he is. He is definitely the Waymaker, the Waymaker. And here they are, Revelation. And they sing the Waymaker. Oh! 
Amen, amen, and amen. I love that. That was the acapella group Revelation, the way maker. And my friends, if you know the Lord, you know he is the way maker. Just give him a try. Just give him a try. Have faith in him, which is important. You must have faith in him. See, many of us don't have faith. Our faith is smaller than the size of mustard seed. And Jesus told his disciples, if you have faith, just faith as a size of a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain to cast itself in the sea, and it will do just that. Not literally do it, but what, what Christ is saying, what, regardless of your problems, if you're in him, and if you have faith in him, and if you have faith just a size of a mustard seed, and have you ever seen a mustard seed? It is so small, like uh, if you write in a sentence and you put a little period at the end of a sentence, and that's just one little mark with your pencil, and, and it's so small, but you know it's there, you see. So Jesus said, the only thing you have to do is have enough faith as a size of a mustard seed. Next time, gardeners, when you plant your mustard seed, go and look at the size of it. And here Jesus saying, all you need is faith of a size of a mustard seed. And he can do a lot with that because he is the way maker. Good job, Revelation. Good job. Amen and amen. All right, all right. We'll be right back with the chat after these messages. All right, all right, all right. Now, 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 get this, get this, my friends. When you hear that bell, <laughs> class is in. What you talking about, Brother Oscar? When you hear that bell, it's time for our chat. That's what Brother Oscar is talking about. And you know what we do here on Chatting from the Word? We just don't teach, we just don't preach. But what we do here, we chat about God's word. We don't want to talk over you. We don't want to talk under you. But we want to talk with you. We want to discuss the word of God with you and, and, and come with a understanding of the message of hope and of salvation. And anyone, anyone, now I say this on the program every day, though I haven't had no one take me up on it yet. But anyone who can add something to what I've said on the program, uh, you can email me your thoughts and what you think about it. Or if you are a well, eloquent speaker and can speak well and know your way around <laughs> technology, you can also be a guest on our program if you want to uh, bring a message of hope and of salvation. I, I invite anyone. I'm not uh, one of them radio hosts that like to keep people down. It's a good brother out there who want to bring a good message to have a message that you want people to hear. You are invited to get in contact with me seven days, seven times that you want to come on the program here with us here at Chatting from the Word. And we will make a way for you to do uh, just that. Amen, amen. And today, like I said, we want to talk about the church, the called out. Because here in the letters that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians, that's who he's talking to, isn't he? Isn't he? He is talking to the church of Christ that meets in Corinth. He is talking to that church of Christ because he heard that church of Christ was going through some difficult times. He heard that church of Christ was listening to the thoughts of men. 
He heard that church of Christ was putting their faith in man instead of putting their faith in Jesus Christ. One must admit that being a Christian was uh, being in Christ was something new then. They didn't know what was being in Christ was all about. They were still going to temple and having temple worship because Christ just died. And here, uh, the Corinthian church Paul uh, was talking to, Paul knew them well. Paul established them. And Paul just want them to know what Christ is all about here. Because at that time, a period of time, they did not know. Even those that are, was new in the body of Christ did not know. They still were listening to the Judaizers, the Judaizers who believed in the Old Testament and tried to bring in that old way instead of Christ's ways. And if Paul is telling them that we should be not listening to the wisdom of man. And Paul go real deep with it. He even mentioned himself. He said, don't listen to even me if I'm not teaching Jesus Christ. I, I'm, I, I'm just a steward of Christ. I'm just put here to teach his word and his word only. Oh, my friend, many, many, uh, especially televangelists, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that you're supposed to be teaching the message of Jesus Christ and not teaching them. It's all about them and not the message. But my friends, if you're going to be a good steward of Christ, let the message of Jesus Christ ring out. And we don't have many to, you know, if you allow Brother Oscar to, to say it. We don't have many brothers, not even in the body of Christ, is truly bringing the message of salvation out. Just a, a few that are sticking with God's word and a few are going the other way, especially when they're looking good, can sound good, an eloquent speaker. They want to get robes they're putting on and and they want the big cars and suits and all that. Christ's not about that. He's not about that. And today's study we are coming from, of course, the uh, First Corinthians, the third chapter. And if you want to study along with us, that's where we're coming from. The third chapter of First Corinthians. And here we want to just go backwards a little bit to verse 17. Here Paul, in verse 17, he says, If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. My friends, here Paul is telling the Corinthian church that you are the temple of God. And if you defile it, or destroy it in any manner, form, or way, God will destroy you. Oh, man, that, that's a message right there within itself. My friends, since we are the temple of God, and I'm not talking about that building made out of brick and mortar or wood, but what Paul is talking about is we are our bodies. We are the temple of God, and God dwells within us. Most of us, we, 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 we look at that message of being the temple, being the temple of God, and a lot of us, we want to just, just, just wash it off and sew it off and live any kind of way. That's not what Paul is saying here, isn't it? That we should live any kind of way or treat this temple any kind of way. This is God's temple. We are God's temple and God dwells within us. And there's many ways that we can defile this body. Many might say, well, is, is it what we put in our bodies? That's part of it. Many might say, is it the words we say? 
That's part of it. Many might say, is it the life that we're living? That's part of it too. All of it. We're not being... Uh, let me get some more specific here, my friends. If we're not being like Christ and allowing him to be a part of us and dwell in us, and that indwelling of Christ should allow us to live as he lived, oh, my friends, you're defiling the temple of God if you're not living as Christ so live. I, I was looking at this uh, at the series about ghosts and uh, name ghosts is that, and the series I was looking at, the guy was sick, see, uh the electrical part he got shocked and he backed up and a ghost one of the ghosts got inside of him and took over his body. And and instead of him being him, he was the ghost that the ghost that was inside of him, he became his voice, his mannerism, and the things that he was saying, that ghost was saying. And he asked, his wife asked him, what did you feel? Where did you go? He said, I just blanked out. I didn't know where I was when she was, or, or the ghost was part of my, in my body. Oh, my friends, just like being in Christ Jesus, if you are the temple of Christ, Christ is in you. And if Christ is in you, you are Christ's, and Christ's is yours. Oh, my friend, just to learn the message of hope and salvation and being truly in Jesus Christ. What do that mean? That means being like Christ. Being like Christ. Loving like Christ. Acting like Christ. Go back to Acts 20 and 7. 20, uh, Acts 17, 20, I believe. They notice how Paul and Silas was acting. And they called them Christians first in Antioch. It's not the fact they was called Christians, but Christian, just be called Christians. But they were called Christians because they were doing the same thing Christ was doing. Can most of us, can the world, when the world see us, can they say you just like Christ? Because that's the word Christian mean. Just like Christ. Can the world see Christ in you? Can they see the change in you? Can they see you being the temple of God? Can they see that? Can your mama or daddy see the change in you? Your aunts and uncles can see the change in you. Are you living for Christ? Are you showing them what Christ is all about? Or are you going along with all the other devilish things people are doing? And think, oh, it's all right. I, I, it's all right if I act like this. It's all right if I do that. It's all right if I do this. But my friends, are you allowing, allowing Christ to dwell in you if people do not see you being like Christ? And that's what being the temple is all about. And if you're not living for Christ, Paul is saying that you are defiling the body. Let me read it again. That you defiling the temple. Let me read it again. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Are you being holy? Will people consider you living holy when they see you? Are you or, or are you acting like the world? Cut in the next verse, and then we're going to let the lesson be yours. In the next verse, Paul says, Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. In other words, if you are taking on the wisdom of this world, you can't be God's temple. You're destroying the temple of God if you try to bring the understanding of man's world into the mix of God's understanding 
of what Christ's word is saying. Oh, my friends, here Paul said that. The wisdom of this world. What he says about the wisdom of this world. That no man deceive himself. If, the, if any man among you seem to be wise in this world, let him become a fool that he may be wise. Let him become a fool. Because even the foolish things of this world, even the wit, the wisest things, if you ask you can say it like that, even the wisest things of in this world is foolishness. Is foolishness. Let me say it right. It's foolishness to God. Oh, we may think that it's not. When we hear our favorite actor or star saying something that we may think is good, and not saying it is or isn't, but it's their actions that they show that let you know that they are not the temple of God. If somebody's telling me a message and they got a ring on every finger and nice suits on and worry about the style of the day and worry about the suits he wear every day or she wear every day, they're not about God. If you listen to a man, the only thing he has in mind is money and, and, and big mansions and cars and limousines and airplanes. Let me tell you a secret, my friends. He they must consider the temple of God. He's a temple of himself. He's dealing with the foolishness. That's the foolishness of the world and not the foolishness of God. I know many people might look at being blessed as having things. But it's not having things, my friends. It's about being in Jesus Christ and being connected with Christ and being saved and allowing Christ to dwell in you so that you may one day be in heaven with him. And that's what it's all about. And this is what my message is it's all about, my friends, is being Jesus Christ, is being like Christ, is loving like Christ, and being like Christ. We're going to end it there. We hope that we said something in our chat today to make you think about the condition of your soul. If God would call you tonight or this morning, where would you go? And I'm going to leave that with you. If God would call you this morning or today, where would you go? It's only two places. It's either heaven or either hell. And we're going to leave that with you for the day to think about. Think about it. And we'll get back with you tomorrow if you have your ears on. Listen to us tomorrow. We'll be on, if it be the Lord's will, back on tomorrow. But we're going to get on out of here. Our time has been for a stint. And we'll be right back with the closing after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We're back, but we must get on out of here. Our time has been for spent, and we really enjoyed being with you today, and we hope that you enjoyed the same. We are thankful to God for spending time with you and you spending time with us. We thank you so much for that. And if you didn't listen to Brother Oscar live here on Chatting from the Word, you can always Catch this program all today on many of your internet networks. You can go and, and check us out. Check this radio show out and tell others about us. Tell them that, hey, we're on <laughs> Chatting from the Word. Just spread the news about us here at Chatting from the Word. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which are in heaven, thou be thy name, thy kingdom is here, thy will is being done. Father, we pray for all of our listeners at this time. We pray, Father, that they all may have a wonderful and prosperous day. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest through and abide with us until we see or hear each other again. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, love somebody, love everybody. Bye-bye.
and may God bless.